So normally when I want to record these Q&A videos, I'm waiting for like a sunny day so I can have like natural light. It's been raining for four days straight. And I know you guys really wanted this Q&A, so unfortunately the lighting a little bit bad, but oh well. Hey guys and welcome back to the brand new Q&A for Battle Buddies that I promised because the new update dropped. And by the time you see this, in the same week, another update will drop, which is the skin update. Anyway, let's go over to the first question. The first question is from Kayvan456 and his question is, will there be a new buddy with a stun effect that stuns enemies? And basically you can also turn a question in, freeze enemies, just will there be an ability that stops an enemy in place? Honestly, I am not sure. And the biggest reason for that is, let's say you have an enemy that does that, or a buddy. And you know, he has a really long cooldown and it's, it's all balanced, okay? But let's say you have some friends and you all say, okay, now I spawn him, then you, then you, then you. And we line all the cooldowns up. So that, for example, the boss or a powerful enemy just can't move or do anything about it. That's what I found so scary. Like, a stun effect is pretty cool, but like, if it's like a reliable stun effect, it can be easily be abused. So I'm not sure if I want a stun effect for the game. Of course, it can always change, but if of right now... I feel like no stun effect, no freeze effect, just, you know, slowdowns, speed ups, like attack down, attack up, but not like actually stuck in place. I hope that answered your question. Nicolas VU asks, will PvP ever come back? Yes. I will probably, probably open it up in the weekend again or maybe later just the one card again with like the testing thing above it because right now I don't feel confident how PvP worked. The reason why I scrapped PvP was that I had to overhaul the enemy mechanic so much for uh, the speed up effect, for Jane's effect, for all these passives because I was like okay let's just take pvp out for a couple of updates so we can like really focus on the main game but i actually do want it back just to see what the meta will be what people will use maybe we can find some new cool strategies that only work in pvp but not in stages so that's why i do want it back though this selectic asks how did you come up with the designs for different buddies like static and frog king so here's the thing, 99.99999% of all the skin designs, all the buddy designs, map designs are submitted by you guys. If you are on my Discord, link in the description, you have a channel called General Suggestions or Skin Suggestions. And there you can put your buddy design, your skin design, and if we like it, we will message you and say, yo, we made a model, we put it in the game, haha, <laughs> and you get some credits. That's why when you look in the game and, you know, you click on a buddy, you see that, like, every buddy is, like, made by somebody else. Like, yes, we model them, but the original design is made by the fans. So, the next question from Chris, actually, it's almost the same, but, like, asked from a different angle, which is, I want to know if there ever be a community-based event. For example, one lucky person in the community will have a chance to get their own character as a buddy in the game, though the devs can decide the stats and stuff, and if it's balanced. Could that be possible? Well, we don't need an event like that, and the reason why we don't do events is, if you submit something at school, we're gonna put it in the game anyway, so to put like a giant contest around it is just, you know, it's just going to take longer for your enemy or your buddy or your map or your skin to get in. Because almost everything is made community based. And that's what I love so much about the game. We might do like some cool contests in the future, but it probably won't be for a buddy or a skin, but for something completely different. Because, you know... If we're gonna make a contest, I want to make it different from how we normally pick skins or buddies, if that makes sense. Here we have Azure, which does the most smart thing ever to not ask one question, but to ask two. 
Now, normally I would probably just pick one, but both of the questions are so interesting that I really want to cover them both. The first question is, do you have any plans for future game passes for battle buddies? I understand that this cannot be revealed. No. So the thing is, I would love to add game passes because, you know, we get to pay the developers more, the ones that model, the ones that make music, you know, <laughs> and of course, like uploading badges, uploading music, marketing, it all costs, you know, Robux money. So of course we would want more game passes. The thing is, I hate pay to win. And when you think about that, it doesn't give you a lot of options for game passes. I really like the follower game pass and I still would like to improve on that. But I have no ID for future game passes that aren't pay to win. I don't want double tickets. I don't want double recruit rate. So if you can think of anything, that would be cool. But like, I can't think of anything. His second question was, is there a specific timing for Raiden? For example, Halloween, Christmas. So originally it wasn't supposed to release for Halloween, but I did it because it was a Halloween skin, yeah, yeah, yeah. The original plan is for a Raider banner to come out every week and just rotate between the mythic skins so it gives you a higher chance to obtain them all. The problem why we didn't do it yet is because we only have two mythic skins in the game. So the Raider banners would be super, super boring. So once we get like 20, you know, exotics in the game, uh, 40 exotics, then we will do weekly banners and you know there's gonna be a pity system so if you pull 50 flowers without getting an exotic you get an exotic for free you know just to make up for all the bad luck you have but that's not coming very soon for the christmas events that we have planned yes there will be a raider banner again but after that it will probably be gone for a while again so i hope that answered that question Pingu12321 asks, are you going to get suggested maps? Like, if I build something, what would be the chances to have in the game? The reason why I picked this question is because I get a lot of questions like, what are the chances to get my buddy in the game, my skin in the game, my boss in the game? So, the most chance to get something in the game is a skin, then a buddy, then a boss, and then a map. Getting a map in the game is really, really hard. And the reason is, it takes us like a month to two months to like complete the map, complete all the buddies for it, make some extra skins for the update. So they don't come out very frequently. So you gotta make like the best map ever if you want it in a game. And that's, it's a little bit stupid, but like if you just want something in the game, I suggest making a skin or a buddy, preferably a skin, but, you know, that's just how it is. I'm sorry. Oh boy, I really hope I pronounced it right. Liat? Liat asks, will a trading feature come to battle buddies? Like trading skins and buddies. It would make buddies more valuable. And will the buddies stack so you can sell them after a while? I hope you answer my question and buy. Trading will never come. The reason for that is I don't believe in trading. I really don't. People scam. The lobby gets spammed with give me a free skin. Uh, duplication glitches. Trading is a terrible idea and I don't respect any game that adds trading. That's my honest opinion. You can have another one if you want, but trading is trash, guys. Trading sucks. The gun, and what a cool profile picture, asks, what determines how to get a buddy? Like, do you have to kill the buddy? Because it's been bugging me for a while. This question, I've been getting it so much. And I'm at the point of maybe making like a how to recruit video in the future. But here is, you know, the fast version. Whenever a buddy dies from the enemy, you have a chance of getting it. Even if you are AFK for the entire match, you didn't spawn anything. As long as, for example, the enemy static dies, everybody in the match gets a roll for the static. That's how it works. So you don't have the one that kills it. Uh, if... For example, Jane's ultimate kills it. You know, it's all fine and everybody gets a roll. Emily Place asks, what was the best buddy slash skin you enjoyed making for the update? I loved making Jane. 
For one, it was a character that I've just been in love with for so long and I've been using in so many of my personal projects. So to finally make her in the game was really fun. And her ultimate, like the giant reaper, was so much fun to code. It was a pain, but when it was done, oh, it was so much fun. As for skins, I'm not really working on skins, like I got people texting for me and modeling for me. So my job for skins is just the coding and it's not really different all the time. But the skins I hate the most are Wisp skins because they are a lot of work coding wise. Because I have to replace all the particles and the shooting animation. Uh, and things like Donnie and Maya, these are the easiest to code so... Those are always my favorite to code because they take like five minutes. <laughs> Emil asks, will you add Dex? Yes. The Gate of Spades asks, if I don't have a Discord, can I submit skins and buddies? It is really annoying if you don't have a Discord, but I'm not going to force everybody to have a Discord. There is only one other way to send me skins and buddies. And that is in my Twitter. If you also don't have Twitter, then I have no idea. Like maybe make a video showcasing them and you know, send it to me, like let a friend like Discord it to me or Twitter it to me. But other than that, I have really no idea how, how we would do that. I, I'm, I'm sorry. And the last questions from Dead Art Bunches. Will there be any skins for bosses? Like I said, this week will be a new update for Battle Buddies, which I like to call the skin update. It will have a little bit more, don't worry about it. But it will mostly have skins. And yes, Mr. Art, we do finally, finally have skins for bosses. It's been one of the most requested characters to make skins for and they will come. We got at least, I think, two King Frog skins planned, two Static skins and three Jane skins. There might end up being more, but like at least two for each boss. So get really hype. Like I really hope you're gonna enjoy the skin update. The skin count is doubled. Like all the skins in the game right now, it's double that. It's insane and I'm so excited. So yeah, that was all the questions. I got this time, again, some really interesting questions. If your question didn't make it in, it could be that either there were some more interesting questions or I already answered them in part one. And if one of your questions looked like the question that I did on the channel, just know that like some people just word it a little bit differently. And you know, then I just picked that one. <laughs> but anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please hit like and subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.